Praise be Jesus and Mary. Now and forever. Throughout the liturgical year, the church presents us with various saints, memorials, feasts, and these type of celebrations to inspire us and to strive to imitate the saints and their love for God and their love for neighbor and to become saints ourselves. Well, on this day, um, Wednesday of Holy Week, uh, we actually have the opposite going on. It's when the church presents us with the bad example of Judas. And it is an encouragement to watch over ourselves, to not follow the bad example. You know, we contrast with what our Lord says about Judas with what he said about John the Baptist, right? He presented to all of us the example of St. John the Baptist when he basically canonized him, saying, uh, there is no man born of a woman greater than John the Baptist. Well, our Lord in today's gospel does the opposite, right? He, he says, woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born, right? That's the opposite of a canonization taking place. Those are words of condemnation. So it's useful to look at the track of Judas, right? Because he didn't start off bad. And our Lord wouldn't have called him to the apostolate. And it can certainly be said that he received sufficient grace, but he did not cooperate, right? And kind of talked about this on Monday, what was going on with Judas. And here, he sells our Lord for 30 pieces of silver, evidently not calling to mind the words of Jesus Christ. Right, when our Lord said, what does it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his immortal soul? See, this is the whole thing, being forgetful of the words of Jesus Christ. So right there, we can learn how we should meditate frequently on the gospel, on the teachings of Christ, and strive with all of our strength to put them into practice so that we go forward and never backward. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.